Thank you. This is, this is just such an incredible opportunity and uh, it's words can't describe how excited and, and thrilled and fired up I am for this opportunity and uh, to be able to spend it in Eugene with my family and um, it's years of hard work and uh, I'm going to do everything I can to be the best quarterback I can be um, and do everything I can for, for the city of Los Angeles. All right, let's get to some questions here. Um, we'll start off with someone you know, Justin James uh, Carpia from, from up, up in Oregon. Justin, congrats to everybody who had questioned the decision to return and said you were either going to miss out on being picked higher or lose money or risk injury. To have the success for this season and get to play with your brothers you wanted to and to still be picked number six, which might have been the same a year ago anyway. Is this all the ultimate validation of that decision? There was never any question um, about my decision. I knew that I made the right one and to be able to finish this past year off with, with our group of seniors to win the Rose Bowl and uh, to be where we are today, it's, uh, it is validation and um, injuries and, and the money were never the issue and uh, so fired up and, and so excited for this opportunity. Thanks. All right, next up, Nick Hamilton. Hey, what's up, Justin? How you doing, man? Doing well, how are you? Hey, congratulations and welcome to LA. Um, talking a little bit about your journey playing for the University of Oregon, obviously you had to move up through the ranks, you got to go through some growing pains. How did that prepare you, going through those things to prepare you for the NFL and prepare you for today? It's adversity. Uh, when I first showed up, uh, we went four and eight my freshman year and got booed by our, our fans at home. And um, it wasn't the Oregon football that I was used to. And so going through these past few years, went through three head coaches, uh, three different offenses, a bunch of different strength coaches. Um, we fought through it and, and we dealt with adversity and we went right through it and ended up going 12 and two and winning the Rose Bowl. And um, I was really pleased with the way we, we turned things around at Oregon. Thank you. All right. Next up, Ryan Thorburn. Hey, Justin, congratulations. Um, I know that your grandfather was friends with Dan Fouts. Just your thoughts on going to the Chargers uh, and following what Dan did. Yeah, Mr. Fouts is uh, an incredible person and uh, thankful he's reached out to me and um, just to be able to, to follow in his footsteps and know that to, he was such a great man and such a great football player. It's really cool and um, it's a really special opportunity. All right, next up, Fernando Ramirez. Hey, Justin, congratulations. I uh, just wanted to see what, um, what do you know about the Chargers and some of the weapons that they have and uh, how exciting is it to play with Keenan Allen, um, Mike Williams, and some of these guys? They're very skilled. They're very athletic, and they got some of the best players in the country. And uh, it's an incredible opportunity, and, and they've got a great coaching staff, and um, they've got a lot of pieces of the puzzle. And um, I'm just, just excited that they took a chance on me, and um, I'm going to do everything I can to, to be the best pick that, uh, that I can be. All right, next up, Daniel Popper. Hey, Justin, congratulations. Um, how much contact did you have with the Chargers throughout this whole process, I guess, starting with the combine or even before then? Yeah, so more so uh, prior to the closing, the closing of a lot of these facilities and stuff. And uh, at the Senior Bowl, um, at the combine, a lot of times I spent with them and, um, and then had a couple of Zoom meetings with them. And I actually uh, was sent a package of, of – formations and plays uh, from the Chargers and I was told to learn these and we're going to talk about them during one of our meetings and um, I missed a, a formation and um, I kind of talked to my agents after that and I told them you know I'm, I might not be a Charger this this didn't go the way I thought though and um, I'm just glad it's worked out and um, it's it's been really cool to get to know them. Just just one follow-up did, did they indicate to you that you were going to be the guy at six regardless of who was there or were you sort of in the dark until you heard your name got the call? I, I didn't know anything until I got the call. Thanks. All right, uh, next up, Lindsay Theory. Hey, Justin, welcome to Los Angeles, um, at least virtually for now. Um, just with the NFL draft and kind of typically with the experiences and walking across the stage and shaking the commissioner's hand, um, obviously you didn't get to do that, but can you kind of tell us how tonight felt and um, how it kind of measured up to your dreams in any ways, if, if it did at all, um, compared yeah, to what our concerns would have been? It would have been great to be in Vegas. Um, I mean, that's a, an experience that not a whole lot of people get to go through. Uh, but to be able to be in Eugene with my family, with my, fr my friends and my brothers, um, it doesn't take away from the excitement. And um, it's, it's years of hard work and uh, just, just happy to, to get an opportunity and uh, couldn't be more thrilled for it. And can you just share with us um, what they told you on the phone when they called you? Uh, 
yeah, I, I got a couple calls and they told, they told me that they were, I was their guy. Um, they're happy with, with me and, and uh, they can't wait to get to work. And um, I felt the same way and told them the same thing. All right, uh, next up, Omar Ruiz. Hey, Justin, congratulations, man. Look forward to meeting you uh, when you get into town. Uh, my question was, you know, in the conversations you had with the Chargers, just how was, you know, if they picked you, your role, describe your rookie year, how that might unfold and maybe the competition you might have uh, with Tyler, Ty, Tyrod and, and the quarterback room there. Yeah, that was never really brought up. Um, they kind of asked me how I felt about it, and I, I said that, um, I'm going to do everything I can to be the best quarterback I can be. And um, if I'm the guy, that's great. I, I, I love playing football and I want to be the guy. Um, but if I have to sit back and learn, I'm going to do everything I can to, to be, become the quarterback that I need to be. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to go down there and do everything I can and uh, to, con to continue to work hard and, and just, just be myself. All right. Next up, Jason Hershorn. Congratulations, Justin. Uh, now, obviously, there were several quarterbacks that went early in the first round, but you're the only one that ran for three touchdowns in the Rose Bowl. How much of your running ability was discussed in your conversations with the Chargers? Not a whole lot. Uh, we kind of brought it up a little bit. We just talked about the last two games, Utah and Wisconsin, and uh, they kind of asked me why I started to run more. And I said, you know, I, I, it gave us an advantage. The coaches thought um, it'd, it'd be advantageous for us to, to do that. So um, I think they know that uh, I like to think of myself pretty athletic. Um, and so it's, it's been fortunate enough to, to kind of work out that way. And, um, I'm sure that they've, they've got plans and um, I'm really excited to be a part of it. Did they give you, cause you said they talked about sort of parts of their playbook. Were there any parts of that that really cater to your running ability? Uh, not that I, that I saw, um, a lot of it was drop back play action, stuff like that. So, um, I didn't get to see any read, read zones or, or concepts like that. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, next up, Jeff Miller. Justin, those of us who haven't been around you, one thing we've heard, one of the, one of the uh, possible questions about you is people have wondered about your leadership skills. Well, how do you address that? And I don't know if that came up with the Chargers, but uh, since it's coming up here with the media, how, how do you address that question about your uh, leadership ability? Yeah, that's, that's a lot of questions that have come up, and I think it's a great opportunity for me to answer those. And um, I think if you ask anyone at our, our facility at Oregon, they'd tell you differently. And um, I know what type of leader I am. I'm, I'm genuine. I'm real. I'm myself. And when, when something needs to be said, I don't have a problem saying it. And, um, I feel so comfortable with the way that I've, I've grown as a leader these past two years. And um, I know that, that my guys and my team would, would tell you the same thing. And um, it, it hasn't been an issue for me at all. All right. Uh, next up, Derek Toverson. Hey, Justin, congratulations. Uh, you're replacing a guy down here whenever you do get to take over the starting role uh, who is a uh, you know, borderline Hall of Fame type caliber quarterback. Uh, what do you know about a guy like Phillip Rivers? And do you have any kind of thoughts of I need to live up to that standard or do you need to just be Justin Herbert? Yeah, being on the West Coast, I was always a big Charger fan and uh, especially Phillip and being able to watch him. And uh, it was really great. And he's an incredible quarterback who's going to go down as arguably uh, one of the greats. And uh, just be able to watch him has, has been so much fun. And, um, it'd be a disservice for me to, to compare myself to him. And um, I've got to be myself. I've, I've got to do things that I do well, and um, I got to get better in, in the ways that I got to get better. So I'm, I'm just excited for the opportunity. Can't wait to get down there. Well, if Josh pros, I'll ask a follow-up. Um, what do you, uh, you mentioned, uh, what, what do you uh, have to work on as, as a quarterback? So what, what, in your opinion, what are your strengths? And what are your weaknesses? What's, what's uh, the biggest thing you can immediately excel at in the NFL level? And what do you have to, what do you have to work on to make sure you're going to be successful here? Yeah, so some of the things I've been working on, are, uh, especially coming from a, a shotgun, no huddle team, I got to get under center. And that's what I've done these past three months. And uh, a lot of the foot, footwork stuff that comes with it and uh, mechanics, a lot of my front shoulder comes loose at times. And that's something I've been fixing up, been sharing up. And uh, just things like that, that, that I've got a good feel and, and people that I'm working with are, are helping me out with that. All right, uh, now, I, uh, I, feel, I yield the floor to Kurt. Now, Kurt. <laughs> hey, Justin, congratulations. Um, first and foremost, uh, as a man who won the academic Heisman, um, when you said you, you missed a, a formation, uh, can you expand on that? Did, and how much did that bother you? And did you bring that up after they picked you that uh, all is going to be fine? Yeah, so it was an example. They, they had it off to the side as an example. And so I, they kind of described how they plan their formations and um, this is 
this is how they do it. And the, here's an example. So I didn't think that was, that was what, what I was going to be tested on. And so I, I got all the plays down. I had everything nailed down, um, but I missed this. And I, I told him after I said, I'm sorry, I missed it. And I didn't know. And um, that, was, that was on me. So just kind of a follow up because of this very unique circumstance with the pandemic, normally, like you mentioned, you'd be in Vegas and normally you'd be flown into LA tomorrow, meet with the media. What have they told you in terms of now studying, working out virtually? What's the next step in that arena for you to get better for the Chargers? Hopefully I get a, get on a call with them here soon and, and they let me know. Um, I, I haven't gotten any information yet, so um, I'm going to continue to do the things I, I'm, I've been doing until I, I'm told otherwise. So um, I'm sure they'll let me know here soon. Right on. Congratulations. Thank you. They'll be doing lots of media in the next couple of days. Lots of media. Sure. Uh, Gilbert Manzano up next. Uh, hey, uh, Justin, uh, I just wanted to talk to you about uh, have you had a, a moment to kind of look back, uh, look back at what you've done from high school to get to the pros? I think you didn't have a D1 offer to very late. I think you're committed to Montana State and now to be a, a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. I guess, how's that? What does that say about your work ethic and have you had a moment to kind of reflect that? I've kind of thought about that these past couple of months and just to, to go from Sheldon High School in Eugene, Oregon with about 1,200 students and um, got the call from Oregon late my senior year and told them I was on board immediately and um, kind of went through that, went four and eight our freshman year and really struggled and kind of had to fight through that. And, and all throughout those, those years of football, I've, I've, I've learned a lot about myself and about the team and about the game. And um, I think everything, every decision I've made has brought me to this point and um, just thrilled, thrilled and excited and can't wait to get down there and, and get to work. All right, up next, Joe Reedy. Justin, congratulations. Um, scouting reports and kind of the, the, on you coming into the draft was a little bit of a question about the accuracy. What during the offseason, what during the past couple months have you done to kind of maybe work on that or alleviate concerns that some might have and did you hear that a lot maybe during interviews with teams during the combine and senior bowl no that was never something that was brought up um i just talked about what i what i've been working on and, and what i need to work on and um i think like i mentioned before the front shoulder my arm uh sometimes when it when it takes away it leads first um i, I rely on my arm to make up for it and um, a lot of the times when my shoulder goes my hips go too and so when that happens you don't get as much on the ball and um, I've been working on this wiggle. You, you got to create an X when you throw your hips first and then your arms and um, just little things like that mechanics wise and um, a lot of things that I can fix. You think with your uh, running ability, did uh, play action suit you more coming into the NFL? Could you re repeat that? With your running ability, because there it seemed like dur especially during the Rose Bowl, you had a couple of those misdirection runs, which really threw Wisconsin kind of off guard. Do you think with your ability to run, I think you had 13 rushing touchdowns at Oregon, that and your athleticism, play action might be one of the areas where you can excel in the NFL? Yeah, I think, I think that would be great. I think that's something that we tried to do a lot at Oregon. Um, and I think especially in the, the past couple of games, the last two games um, in particular, we did a good job of that. And, uh, definitely didn't win that game the way we wanted to, but um, we won that game. The Rose Bowl was tough, and 28-27 is a, a close game, and uh, by any means we had to. And so – um, I think play action is a, a huge part of any offense, and um, I'm going to do my best to continue on footwork and, and uh, getting the ball out quickly. Okay, thanks. All right, up next, uh, James Crepe again. Justin, did you? I, we talked during the season about sometimes when a lot of GMs would be at games, if you knew that or not. Did you know that Tom Telesco was at the game at USC? Um, I did not. I, I wasn't told, and I wasn't aware of anyone that was there, and um, I didn't want to – let that distract or take away my focus from the game. So I went into each game just knowing that go play your game and relax and, and let things take care of themselves. In waiting with your parents after the Rose Bowl and chatting with them about a couple of things, but your mom was really excited about the possibility of you ending up in Los Angeles uh, with the direct flights and everything from Eugene. What has the reaction been like from your family in the about hour now since uh, in particular about not just being drafted, but, but going to L.A.? Yeah, they're they're excited for for me to be a Charger. I think they're even more excited that I'm I'm going to be on the West Coast. And um, you know, it's it's been great growing up in Eugene, and uh, I, I I can't wait to get down to LA and uh, go out and be on my own. And this is an opportunity and experience that I've waited for my entire life. Thanks, all.
Uh, up next, Chris Harry. Justin, what's up, buddy? Congratulations. I, I want to ask you, with everything going on and, and Pro Days being canceled, how beneficial was it for you to have such a, a great week at the Senior Bowl? And then also, I know you've been working out and, and prepare for the combine of the drafts here just a few minutes from the Chargers facility in Costa Mesa. Um, what's it going to be like coming to the Chargers, knowing that you're a little familiar with the area now? Yeah, it's great. I, I, I kind of joked about it. If I can't get on a flight, I'll, I'll drive down. And um, I can't wait to get back to work with uh, 3DQB and John Beck, the guy that I've been training with. And um, we've, we've done some great work. And just that area is, is really special. And uh, to be able to go back there, it's, it's going to be great. That's great. And just the Senior Bowl, uh, having that week um, in January to, to get in front of all these teams, how beneficial was that for you? Huge. That, that, that taught me so much and kind of about the process and, and especially leading up to the combine. Um, I kind of had a feel of what's going on and how this works. And so going through that week uh, of training meetings and, and ultimately the game um, is a great experience. Thank you. Up uh, Next, Nick Hamilton. Hey, Justin. So obviously your family's excited for you to still be on the West Coast and coming to a large market like Los Angeles. How excited are you to be going into a brand new stadium? Have you seen me anything? Have you kept been kept up to date on what's the, the final uh, moves as far as opening up the stadium and being able to go in there? Yeah, I haven't seen too much yet, um, but it's it's something that I'll, I'll check up on here real soon and, and get a much better feel with, with the coming days. All right, up next, uh, Katia Castorena. Yes. Hi, Justin. Following up a little bit on that, you talked about watching Philip Rivers, but how is it for you and what does it mean to be able to have that opportunity in your hands right now to be the new face of a franchise with everything that's coming up with um, the Chargers continuing to establish the roots in, in L.A. and with the new stadium cu coming up and everything that's, that's lined up? It's an incredible, incredible opportunity. Um, it's something that I've, I've waited for for so long and uh, to be able to, to join such an incredible franchise words can't describe it enough and uh, want to get down there as quickly as I can and um, want to get back to throwing and running and lifting and doing all these things and, and playing football and that's what I miss most and uh, to be able to go down there it's it's, it's awesome uh, up next a very patient Bill Plachke Bill you're up Just got to unmute you, though. <laughs> there, I figured it out. Hey, there congratulations. Um, I'm following up on their, on their questions. Coming to a, such a major media market, and you could be asked to be the face of the franchise in a new era for Charger football um, in a new stadium. How do you deal with the pressure, or is there any pressure in that, coming from where you're coming from, to, to, to a big place like this? I wouldn't say it's pressure. I would say it's an incredible opportunity, and um, it, it's a chance to do something special. And uh, to be given this this opportunity, I'm going to do everything I can to, to make the most of it. And I want to be the guy that um, they want me to be, and I want to be the guy that I want to be. And I want to be the quarterback and, and the friend teammate that, that I need to be. And there's so much that I can improve on, and um, I'm going to get better. I'm going to do everything I can to be the best quarterback I can be. Thank you. Uh, Timothy Parker up next. Um, hey, guys. My Justin, welcome to Los Angeles. Can you hear me? Yep, I can. Thank you. Uh, welcome to Los Angeles. So my question is along those lines. You could have been drafted anywhere. You could have been going to Buffalo, but you're going to L.A., major media market. Um, like Bill just said, the, the pressure. Also, the excitement of being in this big city. What is your outlook on being the guy in the city where LeBron is, Hollywood stars are? What is the expectation? How do you feel about being the guy in this city? It's a wonderful opportunity. It's a chance to go play football, and that's what I love the most. And uh, get to go play football, and, and you get to go be paid for playing football. And um, an incredible city um, on the West Coast, and uh, an incredible team. And they've got the players, they've got the skill, they've got the coaches. And um, I just can't wait to join the team and, and be a part of it. In, any any uh, trepidation at all, or is it just all excitement and, and uh, looking forward to it? I'm fired up. It's a uh, it's an incredible opportunity, and this is something I've waited for my entire life. And um, Really just, just so happy and, and so glad that I'd be able, be able to go down there. But does being in L.A. make it sweeter at all? I, I think it's a great city. I think it's a great, great franchise and um, kind of hoping that uh, this was going to be the place. And um, I'm, I'm really happy with, with how it turned out. Thank you. All right. Back over to Kurt Sandoval. 
obviously, um, Justin, we can see you, that you're on cloud nine. Uh, before this draft and before you were selected, because you played in one of the greatest college atmospheres, have you given much thought about the potential that your first game could be in an empty stadium? And, and will that diminish or, or what's your thoughts on that obvious part of it? That doesn't take away from the excitement at all. Um, like I said before, I, I've been booed at home, and, and that didn't take away from our experience at, at Oregon. And um, It's stuff you got to fight through, and um, at the end of the day, what matters most is playing football. And as long as there's two teams out there um, and a ball, uh, we're good to go, and um, I'm just looking forward to that opportunity. And just my follow-up is um, you're showing such great excitement and emotion. I don't know, A, how you're going to sleep tonight, but B, what are you going to do when this is over? How are you, because you really can't go out now and celebrate. What are you going to do? Probably get back to work. I'm going to go run, lift, and throw, and I'm going to take my brothers out and make sure they're catching passes for me. So that's, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm going to do. Look forward to meeting you in person. Me too. Thank you. All right, Joe Reedy, back to you. Justin, when you were here for the Rose Bowl, what was the whole experience? What was the whole experience like being able to play in Los Angeles for the week? And also with the with the mock drafts, it seemed like for most of the mock drafts, you were you were projected to uh, come to the Chargers. So did, was it just one of those things throughout the process, especially the Rose Bowl? You wondered a couple times what it would be like playing here full time. Yeah, it's it's such an iconic venue, and um, it's a game that I grew up watching, especially being on the West Coast and a Pac-12, Pac-10 big fan. So uh, to be able to go there, play, and um, especially the warm weather in December was or January was was pretty neat. And um, I think I did a good job of kind of staying away from the mock drafts and all the projections, and um, I couldn't get too involved because I I don't have any control over over what happens. Um, but while all this was going on, I I had my um, my favorites, and and I'm I'm really glad that this worked out.